Okay, we're gonna build a wall. And we're gonna start off with a, a blank piece so you can see how it's made. This is a half inch by half inch. And what I do with a half inch by half inch is, is I put a little tab in it so it can slide in and out. You can adjust the size of your tabs to make sure they fit correctly. I put nails on the end of mine so magnets can stick to them. Not all pieces need nails. Um, just do what ones that are needed in your build up or your design or make a few extra so if you add an area in you can um, don't have to remake new ones. We're going to build some longer walls. These are the ones we're going to lay bricks on. Um, first I'm going to show the process of how I get the marking for this because it's real important to get this to line up. You see, it fits pretty decent. This way it fits even nicer, really nice and flat. So one way it'll be like a little bit, but once you build your wall you won't see it. But to get them level is uh, as possible is key. And the way I do that is I take factory side if it's there um, it glues horribly so if I can avoid it I just avoid it this seems to sit pretty decent it looks like it'll pull up enough so I take my tab put it into my tile take my tile kind of wedge that a little bit and I run my piece along and you see how I'm making a mark well that's the whole key to it then I lay my piece like this, and then I mark where my tab would go. Between here, and here, and here. Okay. And I have these diamond encrusted tools. your finger to set your depth. Well, I'm just a little bit past halfway, you can see that. So now with your finger, just kind of rock that back and forth in that channel. You just want to pull that foam out of that channel. Kind of like digging it out. I'm not trying to change the direction of the channel. Just to clear it out. Then you take your little wood tabs. These are just uh, craft sticks found at your craft stores. Um, super centers, places like that. And I usually push it in to make sure it's nice and 
snug. The way I glue them in is right in the center. Put a nice little bead of glue. As you push that in, it should come out all areas. I know it looks like a lot of extra glue, but I want to make sure they stay in. And all you need is a tool. We'll just use a brick. Clean up your glue. Set it to dry. Right. Here's the one we're going to make walls on. We're going to make log walls today. We have two pieces to make. This will be the corners of our by nine area. This is the exact wall that we're going to make. I went in the bottom and added some marks for my tiles for quarter inch bricks just to keep it consistent with my little cut bricks. It doesn't have to be exact. I mean, we're just stacking them anyway. I found the center of each one of my one half inch by one half inch long pieces. You can just take a tool, use your finger one side, flip it around. If you do the other side, right in the dead center, it gives you a nice little uh, mark. Or you just find the center and just scribe it across. I would use a pencil for this, not this diamond tool. Then I would take the diamond tool after that's done and come across and just pull it. Go in that little channel. and defined. I'm going to come and mark my bricks. See where the black lines are? Just make it like a 90 degree angle and pull forward. I'm just eyeballing this. It does not have to be exact. See, that's not 100% exact. This row is going to get covered up anyway. Now what I do is I just go to the centers of each one of these. Pull forward. You don't need to mark them. It's not exact, it's okay. These as shallow or as deep as you want. You can cost more rip outs if you want. This diamond tool works better on these little ledges, like just to real lightly just pull out. If you pull too hard, it will rip real easily. And I'm just going to bring this brick line to here, which is just another center on these.
bottoms. These I put nails in. We're going to have a, you're going to flip this onto this. this to keep my wall a little bit more um, level. Um, foam sometimes like to have a little bend to it. So it's just a slight bend like this. The hot glue actually helps lay it a little bit flatter. First layer of bricks down. Uh, all you got to do is just off center, center. I'm doing mine um, three high. You can go as high as you wish. And since these walls are so long, I'm doing about half sections. structure to it. It's a little stability, I guess you could say. Tacky glue is great for sticking, but the hot glue just adds a little extra. So you can better lay this this way.
really good. All right, we're on our last layer of this wall. Make sure I have enough bricks here to do it. Lane one, adjusting it with the other hand. Now, since this is the top layer, if you really wanted to, you can take the time and put glue in between each joint, glue each individual brick to make, make a much stronger wall. Turned out pretty nice. And one more to do, I'm gonna do that one next. All right, thanks for listening.